Hey guys, and welcome to part one of Uncharted 2. You could probably see this coming, considering I've just, just literally beaten Uncharted 1, but you know, here it is anyway. Let's go for a new game. Continuous speedrun. What is this? <laughs> um, no, we'll go for normal, because it's got to be in... Especially after the brutal time on normal we had on Uncharted 1, where we just kept getting shot with grenades all the time. I'm just going to take it easy and enjoy the story. As well as obviously have a little bit of action. Marco Polo. This is good. That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Oh God. Well, well, well. Ow. So we're not just casually sitting in a chair as we had originally thought. Shit. Uh, okay, right, let's think about this logically. Can we climb up? Oh, let's go. Uh, oh. Not that side? We'll go around the other side. I don't trust this. Or an opening. I am. Um, Gonna fall at some point, I think. Right, there we go. If you've got your feet on, you're already in a better position. Can I climb higher than this? Oh, I can see where I can climb straight away. Stupid, stupid me. Uh oh. Everything Drake climbs falls to bits eventually. There and across again. So, uh, yeah. Adventurous. <laughs> right, to the pipe and up we go. I really uh, wouldn't be very good in this situation myself. Because imagine how cold this would be on your hands. And when my hands get cold. I cannot grab anything. Inside? Jump. Climb. Go. Oh. Right now, to there, I guess. Where am I climbing to here? Can I can I climb up, please? Oh, oh, oh. Back out we go. Great. Okay, I can see where we can climb right here. Up we go. We're gonna do this, we're okay. So we've obviously been shot or something. Oh crap. Climb up quick. Need to do this quick. Quick, drink. Ladder. Ladder, please. Thank you. Right, let's just get out of here. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 faster. Uh, 
Oh dear. Woo! You'd be so relieved, wouldn't you? It's a nice change of scenery. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. <laughs> yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no, Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. <laughs> Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. Loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's... Why we mm -hmm. tracked you down? Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase, hmm. some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, hmm. that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the hmm. fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hmm. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. <laughs> Possibly a bad move. What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Everything. We just saw. <laughs> oh, this could possibly go wrong. Oh, I saw a flash then. So, you know, again, I'm not collecting all the treasures. Just in case you didn't watch the last one. But if I do see one, I will pick it up, because why wouldn't you? Yeah, you might as well. Am I going to get killed by this tree now? 
just gonna get in quick. You know, in every game, I learned this from The Legend of Zelda, rolling gets you everywhere faster. Especially when you've been shot. Oh, there's oil all over the floor. Oh, we've got a gun. Oh, and another treasure. Okay. I would. I reckon in real life that handle would have been hot as hell if a fire was that close. Sounds like Last... Uh, not Last of Us. It sounds like um, Outlast here with this music. Alright, okay, obviously. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. You can probably still fit through there, though. If I'm honest. <laughs> Reload that one bullet we used. He's alive. Oh. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> that punch to the face. I love it. This is some intro, though. I haven't played this game in a long time. Again, as I said in the last one, we've I've finished like every Uncharted game to date, even the Vita ones. But I haven't played them through since since a while back. I mean, I've completed Uncharted Four recently because how could you not do that? But I thought instead of uploading that straight away, I'd go through the series with you guys. And so hopefully you enjoy it. Climb up. We climb up. There's too many train cars here. How far does it want me to go? Off to Dreamland again. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in. On the action. Okay. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, mm. this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Oh, Rudy. What happened to Elena? <laughs> Is what I'm wondering. All right, guys, we're gonna have to leave the episode there. <laughs> we're running out of time. Thanks for watching. If you like this first episode, give me a like because it means a lot. And also, think about subscribing because that would be awesome of you. Anyway, I'll see you later guys. Thanks for watching and bye for now.